So like eh like mtu ame ile pesa yenye alikuwa nayo labda alikuwa mpanga kwanza business sisi tumemuonyesha hii ni busy naweza so anarudi like after amesha kuniwa do anarudi anakutext anakuambia mbona mmenidanganya si like now I've lost everything that I had like mtu wengine mpaka mtu anakutumia mpaka si said not ameshaandika ameandika si said not so unashindwa unafanya aje so mtu kama huyo alikuwa akirudi back na sisi sasa tuna block Occasionally you will come across your favorite Kenyan celebrities proudly displaying their wealth online. While many attribute their wealth to their artistic endeavors, some credit forex trading. Among these celebrities who have amassed substantial wealth through forex trading are Kafuri, Sami Boy, The Pluto, and others who openly acknowledge this source of their prosperity. In the realms of self-proclaimed forex traders in Kenya, meet Victor Kibet, a 25-year-old student from Jaquat. Kibet flaunts his opulent lifestyle online, courtesy of forex trading. He drives luxurious cars, don't expensive attires, and has even built a home for his parents. However, the legitimacy of his wealth is under scrutiny. Despite his claims of being a professional forex trader, authorities grew suspicious of the origin of his wealth. Consequently, an investigation was launched to ascertain if his riches indeed stemmed from forex trading, just like others who have acknowledged their wealth from forex trading. Shockingly, it was revealed that Kibet was an internet fraudster, collaborating with Chinese individuals to defraud people of millions of dollars through online scams. Crucial details have emerged surrounding the mysterious abduction of 25-year-old Victor Kibet Kipngeno, alleging the young man was working with foreigners from China to conduct some suspicious and unscrupulous money transactions targeting people's bank accounts. It is said Victor was responsible for hacking and manipulating people's ATM cards. Then there is Mary, a pseudonym chosen for her safety. Like Victor Kibet, Mary harbored aspirations of striking it big. She secured a job offer in the UAE, only to discover upon arrival that the job entailed online scams. Mary recounts how she became ensnared in the world of internet fraud in Dubai, a city known for its stringent security measures, making it challenging for criminals to thrive. And this is a shocking story of internet fraudsters uh, okay so job yenyewe kuna kampuni fulani iko tu ku Kenya na Eldoret eh, mm-hmm. walikuwa wame post kwa kwa Facebook kwa their page page mimi yo page yao ya Facebook mm-hmm. so mimi nikachukua namba nikawa contact mm-hmm. and then kanembe niende kwa ofisi zao Mm-hmm. Nairobi kuna Nairobi na kuna huko Eldoret. Mm-hmm. So nikaenda. Mm-hmm. Eh tukapatana na jamaa akanielezea akatwambia ati nikifika huko ni job za wanasema ni data entry. Mhm. Like wanazita hizo data entry. So ukifika huko Mhm. Wao wa wenyewe walikuwa natuelezea huko before tuende wanasema ni job za data entry and then kuna different departments. Mm-hmm. So ni job tu kama ya ofisi like mnaeleza ni job tu kama za ofisi. Mhm. Eh so tukafanya process kila kitu. Mhm. Eh visa ikatoka ilikuwa visit visa. Mm-hmm. So tulikuwa tumeambiwa tukishika huko tutapewa naitwa je working visa. Mhm. Eh so si tukaenda na visit visa. Mm-hmm. Tuka travel tukaenda tulikuwa kadhaa tukaenda. Mhm. So tukafika kufika shoko nas hmm. tukachukuliwa yeye airport vizuri tukapelekwa kwa pet space hmm. like place tu mnapelekwa kwanza mkae huko then sunday mnachukuliwa the following day mnapelekwa hizo interview hmm. so tukaenda interview the following day yake tu hmm. tukaamka tukaenda interview eh place zenye tulienda okay like kuna pewa interview ni typing like hmm wanaangalia taping speed yako. Mhm. So wenye tulifika mimi nika taping speed yangu ikakuwa poa nikachukuliwa. Mhm. 
nikafanya that list mm. Mm, for two days actually mm. and then sasa huyo mimi akasema like si let client mm. so si akasema akanilipa for the two days and then sasa ule mwenye alikuwa amenileta akanikujia mm-hmm. so ndio tukapelekwa na huyo au si wenye tulikuwa tumeenda nao tukapelekwa place nyingine mm kwenda sasa like hizo like hizo places ni more hizo hizo jobs za nini huko ni mingi mm. so hizo places kampuni ni mingi mm. so tukatolewa tukapelekwa nini this part of gulf to mm. but another company mm. and another like unaona kama venye Nairobi Mombasa yeah. so huko tulitolewa kama Nairobi tukapelekwa Mombasa place mm. tofauti mm uko tukapata tukaenda tukafanywa typing speed yetu ilikuwa poa mm-hmm. tukachukuliwa sisi wote mm-hmm. so that evening tukaingia tukafanywa training for three days so mm-hmm. training ni mm-hmm. mnaelezewa like what you will be doing mm-hmm. alafu kuna unakakando na mtu mwenye anafanya uridi mm-hmm. so you look at what he or she is doing unaangalia venye anafanya una learn mm-hmm. So after three days tukapewa PC yetu laptop mm. e, unapewa computer yako hapo hivyo mm-hmm. na wewe sasa una unaanza so like in the morning tukifika unapewa contact mm. like it was coming it was so mna scam at that time was coming mm-hmm. eh, a country mm. yenye haiko within that niyo is in iko inje mm ni saje ama ni sikaje okay we were scanning at that time to tuna scan india mm. yes so mm. asubuhi morning mnapewa contacts mna upload contacts mnazichukua mm. and then mnaanza mnaanza job so job ilikuwa ni mm. we every contact zenye umepewa unawatumia message mm. unaambia like I'm so, I'm so and so from this company we are hiring so us tulikuwa patia HR mm. so si tulikuwa kulikuwa na department kuna watu wa HR kuna watu wanafanya receptionist mm. kuna watu wanafanya eh, merchant teacher wanaitwa merchant teacher mm. so sisi patia HR unachukua mse una contact na watech ni nini mm. so mnaanza ku converse like kuna job professionally na mm. converse na mtu but now sisi tuko huko Gulf wa wako India mm. so we are, we are talking to them or another thing the company is in India mm. so to know her text na ambia ye conversation inaenda vizuri mnachat na mtu naombea mi na uh, this is a company tuna hire it a, like a staffing company mm. kama hizi zenye tunakwanga nazo huko kitu mm. so naambia i'm giving her a job nini nini and then unamuonyesha na mke true what the venye job itakuwa mm. and then sasa mse anakuba anakubali mm-hmm. unamfanyisha and then unamlipa like kama twice or thrice mm. so ukimlipa anaona it's real like anaona mm. yenyewe hii kitu mnaambia mtu mna haya alafu mnamlipa ama eh like tunakuhaya ufanye kazi online mm. eh so mm-hmm wewe unajua ah unaona asini online mm. na wo, ni tagain nini hakuna kitu ni mm, let me try like kama venye Kenyans mna mbongwa most mm. view unaweza work online part time ni nini ni vitu ka hizo mm. eh so unajua uko hivyo pia wao wako desperate so mnaambia mse tuko na ninyo oh, tuna haya are you interested kufanya job na sisi online mtu anakwambia yes so na take through the procedures unampea test kadhaa nafanya and then you pay him Mm-hmm. unamlipa mm-hmm. so analipa and then akishapata payment anaona ah this thing is real mm-hmm. so unamwambia for you to proceed to the next step you much like you, you earn much higher mm-hmm. so i have to refer you to our receptionist mm-hmm. eh, so na mtu kwa receptionist we to like now as you are communicating with them through whatsapp mm-hmm. so when i'm sending you to a receptionist Mm. reception is just to anaku na kutuma kwake kwa telegram like now you are communicating with the rece- with the receptionist on our telegram mm. and her whatsapp mm. e, so ana chat na receptionist receptionist anamuonyesha nini nini and then now kwa anaingishwa kwa group fulani hiyo group imeja 
like watu wenye tuko nao huko hivyo mm. wao walikuwa ni Thomas Spammers like mm. wana wao wanatuma hizi messages za spam spam yani mm. wanatuma those spam messages so mnaikishwa kwa hizo group mna mna onyeshwa activities zenye mnafanya mm-hmm. watu wana anu kwa sababu walikuwa nalipo hizo in Indian rupee una anu na anu unaona eh ume and the mob mm-hmm. so unaona ah kama it's a good thing let me invest in it like na una ni ni job poor mm-hmm. wacha why not like kama venye crypto hizi venye watu invest hizo mm-hmm. so mtu anaona let me let me invest mm-hmm. so una, una receptionist ana ku anakuninia unatoa toa do akiona sasa like level yako imefika mm. umekuwa we ni mtu uko na do na unatoa do vizuri mm. anakutuma sasa kwa msio sasa anaitwa merchant teacher mm. e, so unatumwa huko kwa merchant teacher do kuna watu wengine walikuwa nafika hapa kwa receptionist wanatoa toa mtu anatoa kama 20000 rupe mm. 40 and then hataki kuendelea so anasema alipo pesa zake mm. ndio sasa ye a opt out kwa company mm sasa akianza kuitisha do ana blockiwa like unakuwa blocked in every platform zetu mm-hmm. zote mm-hmm. eh una blockiwa so you unatolewa kabisa mm-hmm. eh and then sasa now if you eh, we kama bado unataka kuendelea ku invest na sisi like hiyo in, in the company mm-hmm. unatumwa kwa mse anaitwa merchant chicha mm-hmm. so huko unatumwa merchant chicha pia kwa yeye akona activities zake zenye anakuonyesha venye unafaa kufanya ndio earn so unafanya unafanya pia anatuanisha like it's a step pia like pia anatuanisha do nini nini mm-hmm. akiona sasa like steps zako zi we pia umefika place you don't want kuendelea mm-hmm. ama umekuwa rigid you not hutaki ku ku inetangwa aje ku cooperate mm-hmm. so pia yeye ana anakutoa hizo groups zetu zote mm. anakutoa kwa like anakutoa kama venye unatolewa kwa portal unatolewa yani unatolewa kwa hizo groups za telegram unatolewa kwa hizo in your job so tunatolewa na unablockiwa kabisa mm-hmm. yes and then unapata sasa do yako imeenda so huyo mtee si unajua sasa si mimi sijamtoa mimi sijamtoa kwa whatsapp yangu bado mm. so anarudi mm nerudi kwangu most of them na napata anakuja kwangu anaanza kunitext sasa akianza kusema like mbona tumemscam like tumemdanganya so wanakujanga most of them wanakujanga back to us now the receptionist mm. wanaanza kutuambia mbona sisi the hr manager sasa anaanza kutuambia this e company yenu is a scam vitukai mm. hizo so like tulikuwa in different departments kuna hr sisi kwa na receptionist kuna wao merchant teacher so sisi ilikuwa kazi yetu ni ku recruit mm. like we we recruit people and then wakikubali na watu sasa kwa receptionist mm. so receptionist na merchant teacher pia wao wanafanya kazi yao ya ku kuatuanisha do mm. yes so kwa kwa hiyo time yote ukifanywa shughuli wewe pa day ulikuwa unaingiza kama kama watu kama pesa ngapi sasa okay for us now sisi eh, HR manager sisi yetu ilikuwa ni mm. unapewa contact like 40 people mm. in those contacts mm. you have at like uko na target ya kama watu nane ama tisa mm. wenye lazima uwa send kwa receptionist watu serious wenye mm. ataenda kwa receptionist mm. waende huko na wanze job na wanze kutoa do so unaona sisi hawa part sisi part yetu ilikuwa ya kutoanisha na do but sasa now receptionist on your kwa receptionist wetu kwa the same thing took place where we were all receptionist na merchant teacher wao ndio walikuwa wanatoanisha cause for example mimi kuna client mmoja alikuwa is like ni mtu mkubwa huko India alikuwa anafanya i think he was a alikuwa mtu ni daktari so si aliona ni kama ni opportunity poa mm. jua alikujanga akinitumia screenshot akinionyesha like the nyame lipa like ilikuwa almost 1.5 million 1.5 eh million ya indian rupee sasa like kenya me na me invest na sisi mm. and then now he came back to me to me and like kumona tumemkan vitu ka hizo 1.5 million indian rupee indian rupee eh mm-hmm. yeah so ndipo watu wengine walikuwa nakujambaka back to us wanaanza kututukana wengine mwingine kuna mwingine alikujambaka back na tutumia like she said not cause no apata amesha tuma do zake zote Mm, so like eh like mtu ame, ame ile pesa yenye alikuwa nayo labda alikuwa mpanga kwanza business sisi tumemuonyesha hii ni busy naweza mm. 
tu anarudi like after amesha koniwa do anarudi anakutexta na kuambia mbona mmenidanganya mm. see like now I've lost everything that I had mm. like mtu wengine mpaka mtu anakutumia mpaka si said not ameshaandika mm. <laughs> ameandika si said not so unashindwa unafanya aje so mtu kama huyo alikuwa akirudi back na sisi sasa tuna block mm. una block na mtu kwa kwa list yako So so this is how that scam used to work una unaenda kwa receptionist mm and, uh, apo kwa receptionist na ndipo pesa yote Si si like sasa si si eh sometimes kikuja kwako kama wewe receptionist mm. kuna pesa ni eh akienda kwa receptionist yeah. ataonyeshwa pia like, unaje sasa kwangu mimi nimemlipa like twice like ame earn mara mbili ndio aji enroll kwa hiyo hiyo scam bila kujua eh. amekuja eh. anasema ko interested Ehe. Utamwa ata register na alafu muambia ku atoe pesa ama. Ah ah, ki register utamuonyesha hakuna registration fee. Mhm. Atu charge anything. Actually unamuonyesha ni sisi ndio tunakulipa. Uh-huh. Like unatufanyia kazi sisi tunakuli. Uh-huh. Tunakulipa. So tu unafanya hizo activities zenye na kupatia. Mimi niko sisi like there is sisi HR tuko na pia na activities tatu. Uh-huh. Mzee kifanya hizo activities tatu unamlipa like tuko na lipa na like 200 rupee. Uh-huh. Unamlipa 200 Indian rupee. Uh-huh. So si Aksha and kwangu. So mimi nikishona huyu ni mtu serious. Sasa uh-huh. na na mkuad kwa re, kwa HR, uh-huh. kwa receptionist sorry. Uh-huh. So receptionist ndio ana ana deal na yeye. Uh-huh. Alafu sasa ndio anaanza kumtoa nishado unapata sasa unaandua like ukieka ukieka 8000 inakuja ikikuwa like 10 mm. ukieka 10 inakuja ikiwa hivyo sasa so, unajua unaweka ya kwanza 5000 unaona yeye imekuja na 7000 imekuja mm. ikiwa 7000 so tunaona ume earn 2000 extra mm. so unaweka tena ingine unaona tena yani kuna venye right, kuna kuna that amount yenye wao pia walikuwa wameka ukitoa hii pesa fulani unarudishiwe ikiwa na pesa fulani na huko kweli ulikuwa unapata like unaona sasa vinye Kenya mm. ukituma unapata unarudishiwa like kama ukisema umetuma 1000 unarudi pesa yako inarudi ikiwa kitu kama 3000 eh 3000 sasa tunaona eh nimepata 2000 extra so unaona eh yenyewe hii ni job fit wasa niendelee na wao mm. so unaendelea tu kuinvest hivyo 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 so tukiona wao umetoa kitu kama maybe umetoa 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 ndio sasa tuna mm. tunakuachanisha like tukiona umeanza kusumbua unasema ati sasa umekelea 40 40000 alafu unataka kusema ati sasa unataka kutoka mm. tukulipe pesa yako na interest utoke mm. sasa hapo vi ukianza kusumbua na si tunaku tunakutoa kwa platform zote mm. Mm. Hai kuna vile hiyo kazi ilikuwa na kwa affect mentally ama tu ilivika mali kwa kwa Yes okay hey, at first when we went tulikuwa anga tuna feel vibaya kwa tunapata mtu anakutukana una feel na like, hata wewe ina ku drain cause okay tulikuwa tunafanya kwanza subuhi mpaka like from 7 to 7 mm. and then like the whole day uko tu hapo hivyo na ngangana mnapoa pressure like you have lazima urich target ya kufikisha watu wenye hutawatuma kwa receptionist mm so ilikuwa 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 pia na pressure iko na stress and then like una 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 unaona sasa utakuja wewe ulidanganya unakuja kufanya job za office like data entry na understand Kenya ukiambua kitu kama data entry unajua mm. ni job tu fulani fit ya ofisi yenye utafanya mm. unapesa yako vizuri uende mm. so ile unafika huko unapata ni kuskam watu unaona mm-hmm unaanza kuskam watu na those camps zilikuwa mingi cuz kama in the same building yenye si tulikuwa tunakaa mm-hmm. tulikuwa na different uh, offices zilikuwa kama tano hivi mm-hmm. na scam yenye sisi tunafanya tunapata sisi tunafanya zingine kuna kampuni inafanya nyingine kuna wenye wanafanya za cryptocurrency kuna wenye wanafanya yani zilikuwa tofauti mm. mm. na ukiangalia salary yako ilikuwa ni kitu nyewe unapenda ama ilikuwa tu Yeah. Okay those people walikuwa natulipa vizuri hatuwezi lalamika cuz kama ni, ni kulipwa nao mko tulikuwa tunalipa vizuri tulikuwa tunalipa 2500 dirhams mm-hmm. aya alafu mnapewa 500 ya visa mhm ya visa money mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. hata kama haikuwa like inatosha but tunapata mm-hmm. ni pesa poa lakini nao pia ina iko na stress zake na pia unaangalia like imekuwa affect cuz nakumbuka kuna dem tuliyenanga na yeye tulifikanga huko hivyo mm-hmm tukaanzanga kufanya nga job na yeye after two weeks na yeye pia budake <laughs> budake kakoniwa akiwa huko Kenya yes. so uh, aliona ni kama ni karma yani <laughs> 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 like something inarudi back to you 
na okay na maybe kwa wale ambao wanataka kwenda girls maybe such mm. mentality yani ya kwenda to make it easy na wajua wanajiuliza kwa nini wote hey, one thing mimi nezambia mse okay kama una una unapele kwa let's say sana sana UAE mm. unajua UAE most agents wanadanganyanga mse wanakwambia unaenda na na utapata work visa ukifika huko mm. which most of them wao wanadanganya Mm-hmm. Juu kama sisi tuliambiwa tunaenda hiyo job ya data entry and then tukifika tunapewa work visa na kampuni kufika mm-hmm. kampuni haitupatii work visa inakupatia 500 dirhams peke yake na unajua 500 dirhams hata by the time unakuja kuchanga ni uchukue residence ni mm-hmm. ni muda mrefu sana yeah. so and then una make sure tu unatoka tu hapa hivi na contract yako juu hata wengine wanatoka na contract hapa wanaenda but tunafika huko unapata ni something different kwa mm. sisi tulitokanga huku bila contract yote bila anything sisi tuliambiwa tu tukifika kila kitu huko tunashughulikiwa mm. mm. so sisi tukajitoa tukaenda tukifika we fika turamba so unasema like okay you uh, in stands for united arab emirates that is that uh, uh, it is uh, uh, india uh, we 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 lakini so msemo hizo karudi kwa kazi kama hiyo atineza umeza rudi kwa kazi kama hiyo Hey, eh hey, apana <laughs> at the moment no then you can as a rudi yes wana lipa vizuri ninyo ni vizuri but nayo pia unaona tukio huko kwa kampuni mm-hmm. juu ni kitu si legal it's something illegal mm-hmm. mlikuwa mnafungiwa like hamwezi toka it's it's not si yani hamwezi toka nje mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunatoka yes lakini mnatoka usiku after mmemaza job usiku mm-hmm. like mnatoka muna lazima uombe ruhusa and then mnatoka like in shift because mm-hmm. pia we are not allowed kuzunguka zunguka huko hivyo because ni job na hiyo ni job yenye hata kama una visa mm-hmm. hata kama una visa ama hata kama uko on overstay ama hata kama yani wewe uko tu uko illegally you can do that job because mm-hmm. wao wanachukua anga tu anyone hata kama una visa mm-hmm. that's when apata most of the people wanyo wako huko hivyo ni watu wa West Africa mm-hmm. wamejaa huko juu wao wako wengi wao wako on overseas hawana mavisa mhm mm. wow wow oh, oh, thank you thank you mm. all right dear. sawa